there are certain aspects of being vaccinated and what that means to you personally and your own personal safety and that of your family versus what vaccines will allow you to do in society. One relates to you yourself being vaccinated and the other relates to the number of people and the relative percentage of people in society that will be vaccinated because there will be things that you will not be able to do because the burden of virus in society will be very high, which it is right now, even though we're going way down on the decline that Dr. Walensky showed you, we are still at an unacceptably high baseline level with the seven day average being quite high. So there are things, even if you're vaccinated, that you're not gonna be able to do in society. For example, indoor dining, theaters, places where people congregate, that's because of the safety of society. You yourself, what you can do when you are together with another person, we are looking at that. And we're gonna try and find out very quickly what recommendations could be made about what people can do. One of the things that's universal here that we know that at this point in time, it is unclear whether when you get vaccinated and you might be protected from clinical disease, which is the primary endpoint of the vaccine studies, that you could conceivably be infected, have virus in your nasopharynx, and at that same time have no symptoms, which is the reason why we recommend and say you still need to wear a mask. Because if you do have virus in your nasopharynx, even though we hope that when the data comes in, it's gonna show that the very virus level is quite low and you're not transmitting it, we don't know that now. And for that reason, we wanna make sure that people continue to wear masks despite the fact that they're vaccinated.